Well, the Spokane Coeur d'Alene area is getting over $50 million in funding to create a testing facility for aerospace parts. The project's hope is that manufacturers will build their own plants here once the facility is up and running. The project already has a 600,000 square foot facility near the Spokane airport that will be ready for testing in the next few years. Derek Strom spoke with partners in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene who say the work is just beginning now that the funding is approved. It took several villages to make this happen. 50 different companies and agencies, including Boeing and NASA, are working together with local governments and schools to make Spokane one of the leading aerospace hubs in the country. The Biden-Harris administration recently approved $50 million in CHIPS Act funding to make the Spokane Coeur d'Alene area one of 31 tech hubs nationwide. Spokane Coeur d'Alene uh, has an advanced manufacturing base, a lot of that in aerospace. Um, we also have a lot of folks doing composite materials for aerospace. And that's what this tech hub's going to do. Right now, the closest aerospace testing facilities are in Asia, and many companies go all the way there to get their parts tested. But within the next couple of years, this facility behind me could make Spokane the center for aerospace testing, not just in the U.S., but in all of North America. Once the funding is used to bring the expensive equipment in to test aerospace parts for commercial and military planes, companies will begin testing lightweight plastic composite parts that are meant to save fuel and be better for the environment. There are already a few companies in the Inland Northwest that manufacture these plastic composites. Uh, the more they do test bed facilities here, the more that we will get those companies to settle here, the more supply chain we're going to create across the board. It's an entire ecosystem that we want to create around this advanced composites. The partnership also includes working with local school districts and universities to get the next generation of engineers and designers ready to work in aerospace. The facility is expected to be ready in the next two years. In Spokane, Derek Strom, 4 News Now.